Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I want to do a silver eye look with the Dior palette here. This is number 057 Moonlight. This is part of their holiday 2018 collection. And I want to do just like a pure silver eye. I was on this um, YouTube spiral a few days ago and I discovered someone called Violet FR or Violet FR. And she did a wet silver eye look that was really pretty. And then I also saw a video by someone named Hindash, I think he's called. And he did a video with like, again, like a wet silvery eye look. And I was like, well, I can do that. So we're gonna do those things today. And I'm gonna go ahead and link their videos down below in the description box if you wanna go watch the originals. But before we get started, please make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell on the side so you can know whenever I post a new video. So my face has been primed and prepped. My coffee is right here. I'm taking the first sip right now. So yeah, let's start the video. So to start off the eyes, I'm gonna go into this Chanel palette, number 268, Condé Experience. Um, here's a fun game. Find a makeup video where I don't mention this palette. Yeah, try that as a game this weekend. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and use this latest one here as a transition shade. So now that that's done, let's go into the Dior palette. And I'm going to go ahead and use this MAC um, Fix Plus. This is the Prep and Prime fixing spray. I would recommend using any priming spray, really, or water if you want because I'm going to spray the brush and dip into the silver colors because I really want this to be silver. I want it to be like a disco ball, like glitter silver. Well, it's not really glitter, but you know what I mean. So spraying my brush and I'm gonna go directly into the middle shade, the one that says Dior on it. I am going to dip this brush and I'm just going to place this on the outer corner here and I'm gonna use a separate lighter silver shade to go in the inner corner. So now using a smaller tapered brush like this, I'm going to go into the lightest shade in this palette right here, and I'm going to place this on the inner corner. So I'm going to take one of the little sponges that came with this palette here, and I'm going to take this end because it looks like an actual brush, and I'm going to use this to just blend this out because right now there's a pretty harsh line between the silver and the skin. So I'm just going to blend this out a little. I think in both the Hindash and Violet FR videos, they did much more of a cat eye look that I'm comfortable doing. So you can do a cat eye look with this, you can do more rounded, it's really up to you, you know? It's makeup, it's play. So I just went ahead and went back in with my big fluffy brush and that original transition shade and just buffed this out as well. You know what? I think I do want to make this a little bit winged. So I'm going to go ahead and use another one of the sponges that came with the palette here. And I'm going to go back into the middle silver shade. This is this one here that says Dior on it. And I'm going to go ahead and use this little tip and just try to wing this out a little. I'm feeling very brave. I think I got a lot of the silver on the lashes over here. So hopefully I can get some of that off before I put on the mascara or mascara will cover that up. So what I did is I took the Fix Plus and I sprayed it into um, this part here, like where the little sponges usually go. I just like spritz like a tiny bit and then I dipped the little applicator in that and then I went into the color and then I did the little line. I'm not sure how it looks yet, but we're getting there. I'm just gonna take a Q-tip now and just blend this out as well. I don't know what to call this look, like disco ball snowflake. Is that a makeup look you guys wanna wear? <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm gonna go ahead and skip and do the face makeup and come right All back. Right. So to finish off the eye look, I went ahead and used a small taper brush and I went into the darkest color in this quad here and I just traced this on the bottom lashes and now I'm gonna go ahead and use lots and lots of mascara. Now for the lip, I want something kind of peachy pink. This whole look to me kind of screams retro, like 1960s. Although I feel like 1960s makeup often had like like nude, like very, very pale lip. So I think I want something a bit more pinky. I'm gonna go into my YSL lipstick. This is Rouge Volupté number nine. I really think that I need to get more YSL lipsticks in my life because every time I pick this up, I just fall in love with the packaging all over again. 
I just went ahead and added a little bit more blush. This is the Too Faced Love Flush and Justify My Love because this lipstick is very pink and the blush that I had on earlier was a little bit too peachy. So hopefully this works. All right, guys, I think this is the finished look. I really like this. It's like disco ball, snowflake, snow globe. Does that work? I don't know. It's very pretty. It could be perfect for New Year's Eve maybe or a holiday party. I really like this. I'm not like a pro at doing winged liner, so I'm not sure exactly how um, even these are, but whatever. I have a little schmutz up here. There we go. And quite frankly, the silver color is not dark, so even if the wings are not perfect, no one can really tell except for you, so yeah. I think this look is very pretty, very festive, very fun, definitely out of my comfort zone, but it's fun to do something different every now and then. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think. What do you guys want to see next? What other tutorials do you want to see? Um, let me know what combinations you want to see because I've been combining recently different um, palettes, different collections together. So if there's any color schemes or certain looks, I could definitely do more like New Year's glitter looks. I'm totally okay with that. Please remember that you are beautiful, you are kind, and you are capable. So go out there and conquer the world. I think that's all I have for you guys for today. So I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.